As we continue to remember the September 11th attacks, we can't help but think about the brave people who gave their lives while trying to save others. The odds were stacked against the first responders' call to the burning towers. The front lines of catastrophe will always be dangerous. But as Fox 25's Ted Daniel explains, some local researchers are trying to make it a little bit safer. While everyone else rushed out, they rushed in. 343 firefighters and paramedics were killed at Ground Zero, a powerful reminder of just how dangerous the job can be. I think it was a wake-up call for, for everybody. We need to focus on these individuals that put their lives on the line each time they go into a building. On the campus of Worcester Polytech, the research conducted in this lab focuses on the lessons learned from 9-11 and other tragedies like the 1999 Worcester Cold Storage Inferno that killed six firefighters. With help from federal grants, faculty and students are developing new technology to assist first responders on the front lines. Uh, this is all custom uh, hardware and software. One device uh, called the Precision Personnel Locator is the brainchild of Associate Professor uh, James like Duckworth this, and Professor David Sigansky. As this research video shows, the Precision Personnel Locator, or PPL, is able to track a firefighter inside a burning building. A transmitter attached to the firefighter sends a signal, allowing commanders outside to monitor every step on a computer screen. That kind of information is very important to guide them out if they become lost, which is easy to do. Uh, people don't often understand the darkness of a fire. Uh, it, it, most firefighters do their work uh, completely blind. The device can also relay vitals and air intake and the temperature of the environment a firefighter is working in. Researchers here at WPI plan to spend one, possibly two more years fine-tuning the locator. They know technology like this has to be flawless before it gets into the hands of the people who need it. Another project inspired by the lessons learned from 9-11 is run by Kathy Natoriani, the head of WPI's Department of Fire Protection Engineering. What makes me you know, tearful and choked up is watching the firefighters with these very heavy packs trying to go up the stairs. Professor Notariani is looking at new approaches to fighting high-rise fires. Her study will investigate the efficiency and safety of specially designed fireproof elevators so firefighters don't have to waste time and energy lugging heavy equipment upstairs. And if you think about the height and the number of stairs and how tired you might get just climbing one or two flights of stairs, um, how, what kind of condition would they arrive in? For the students assisting on the projects, it's a chance to make a real difference. I like to think I, I help professionals save lives. And as we saw on 9-11, those professionals need all the help that they can get. In Worcester, Ted Daniel, Fox 25 News. Fire Protection Engineering Department at WPI is one of only two in the country. And it did recently receive a million dollar grant from the Department of Homeland Security. Pretty cool.